where do you see yourself in the next five years? Ooh, that's actually a good question. So in the next five years, hopefully I have my own line All right. for cosmetics. Yes. And yeah, and still teaching. Because for me, I've always wanted to teach, like what I mentioned. I wanted to be an advocate to everyone out there with all my experience, you know. I wanted to make sure that I actually teach because there's always going to be new people. There's always going to be new dilemmas that needed to be faced or needed to be executed, you know. So, yeah, so hopefully have my own show and have my cosmetic line. And, you know, my mom will be the logo of it. What is your favorite coat? Ooh, my favorite quote is um, self-confidence is a superpower. So once you start being authentic and being you, magic starts happening. How did you grow your IG? My followers yes. and stuff? By the help with all the people out there. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, like with my um, celebrity friends, like, you know, whenever we do photo shoots and everything, I like, you know, they help me enough to um, post it on their social media. And next thing you know, their fans started following me. So that's why you know, I'll be forever grateful with all of um, them, especially Rufa May, LJ Moreno, Donita Rose, like Mads. Lahat lahat. Kasi when I do like their makeup, they're they're nice enough to um like you know put me on their platform yes. when all of them have like a million followers, all of them have mm -hmm. so much. So that's how I started to grow my um my followers. And then I'm so thankful enough that I got featured in Philippine Star newspaper and then I got featured in Manila Bulletin. And which, the magazine you know, too. The yeah, new so, one. I saw that. Yeah, yes. so there's two. Mm -hmm. Um thank you so much for everyone. So Max Health, June Max 2000. Health. Yes. Yeah, so let me tell you about the Max Health. Sure, so sure. for the June 2021 mm -hmm. issue, I was fortunate na I got to pitch in the idea on what I want. So I picked um, three different eras. So mm -hmm. I picked the 1950s, which is the um, flapper. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's the 1920s. And then 50s is classic, mm -hmm. like Aubrey Hepburn. And 80s, fun, Madonna, colorful. So because I wanted to show versatility. Because at the end of the day, I just can't be known as a Filipino makeup artist. I wanted to be a multicultural makeup artist which are very like you know i could do any skin tone like you know because i wanted to be known as that multicultural makeup artist so like i wanted to showcase my talent so i was fortunate now i did a 20s look 50s look in 80s so like so my viewers can see the versatility on my um art yeah, because wow. I always say uh, makeup is all about like, you know, like you're there's no rules with makeup, you guys. So just do whatever. And I felt like, you know, like just trust yourself because when you don't trust yourself, mm -hmm. that's when you second guess yourself. That is right. Mm -hmm. I tried uh, smoky eye, but it just didn't look <laughs> good on me. But thank you for uh, everything, Roy. I hope this will uh, will not be the last. And I want you to be my friend as well and looking forward to meet all your uh celebrity uh friends as well thank you so much